Hello, my beautiful little muglets. First of all, apologies for the voice. I'm a little bit under the weather, but um, we were spending yesterday raising this dude. I was like, okay, whatever. And he's still Eric, by the way. I got a lot of comments saying he is a bizarre counter, which was sort of a passing thought, but like, I don't know. I kind of wanted to like focus on the AOE here. If you're going to build him specifically to be a bizarre counter, then he needs to be super fast. And I guess as a mage, it would be kind of a shame when he's not going to also be doing damage. So ours isn't very fast, honestly. Even our ALOTS is faster than this, and my ALOTS, you know, gets outsped by Bazaars every now and then. So so I guess you'd kind of have to decide if you would want him specifically for a Bazaar counter and to get off that second skill so when Bazaar goes next turn, he can just do his basic attack pretty much. And then if you have some other boosters, you know, like maybe a bike in there or something, you can get him back up to the front pretty quick. He'll have that increased speed and he can do an AoE defense penetrating ult. By the way, I did not mean to get his basic to plus four. I was just uh, being careless and thought I was upgrading the second skill because they have the exact same skill enhance effects, like literally identical. Also, yeah, someone did point out something I overlooked and that's uh, his second skill actually gets bonus damage depending on the target speed, not his own. So yeah, you know, Bazaar is always going to be pretty fast. It's just that our Eric isn't fast enough to consistently outspeed Bazaars, so you kind of have to decide. But if I'm going to build him pure speed, like get him up to maybe around 250 I could manage perhaps, then he's not going to have that much damage. With his artifacts, his first turn would be a guaranteed crit, and then it'd be like a 98% crit chance from there, uh, and then going lower. But basically doing a second and then third, I would say he doesn't need to critical anymore. 3k attack, 238 crit damage is actually not that impressive, but you know, we're, we are focusing a lot on speed. Also, the thing is, if you build him pure speed and he's going to be going first, he's not going to have any buffs and the enemies aren't going to have any debuffs, so his damage won't really be that good regardless. But I don't know, let's check out a golem hunt or something real quick, just to get sort of an idea, I guess. So yeah, I think these turtles are like pretty tanky, but take your life. I don't know, man. Yeah, 7600, you know, for having no buffs or anything, it's all right. Let's see a Shurmi a basic. Yeah, you know, does more than a Shurmi a basic. Let's check out the AoE 2 with his speed buff. It's pretty much the only thing he has there. Oh yeah, 5400. I'm not sure, but that uh, 0.8 might be right. Because I don't think the 1.4 can be. Yeah, you know, we could silence that healer over there. Or silence. Oh. Never mind, the plant is immune to silence. Can check out that second skill damage again. The boss was kind of on full skill cooldowns, though. Uh, did he really lap them? Because I just used his turn. Yeah, his ult doesn't do a ton of damage. Yeah, he has no buffs or anything, though, so can't really expect much, but still. All right, well, yeah, that wasn't a very good showcase i guess he's not really meant for golem i'm just having a hard time deciding if i should have him try and do damage or try and just be faster than bazaars like if we're just gonna have him as a dedicated bizarre counter you know it actually took a while to find a bizarre team but we are back down in scrub zone so i guess it makes sense honestly haven't really thought about what team he should be in there's also the moonlight vildred which is pretty annoying we're gonna need some souls he only has six effectiveness and also i guess to guarantee that those skills get cooled down you would probably need to soul burn it. I would need like Lilibet or something in there for that Moonlight Vildred. So I'm probably gonna keep Rose in there. The general plan would be Eric goes first, disables, bizarre. Rose would go boost combat readiness so he gets to the front faster and also gives him an attack buff so that his AOE has, you know, an attack buff, defense penetration. So maybe like a, another tank, Fallen Cecilia throw her in there just try and tank through the uh, Vildred Biken for more combat I don't know what I'm doing but we still don't have any souls Rose has the uh, Midnight Blossom so he'll have almost 100 crit rate still anyway I think Eric is more for the higher tier PvP I can imagine a lot of people are just building him pure speed just to disable Bazaar because a lot of these teams you know it's just like a tank team with a Bazaar in there so it's like they screw you up whatever let's just see how this plays out so he is faster I mean again we're at Challenger 5 or whatever so we're gonna burn that and uh yeah okay so only doing his basic now can boost our combat readiness very good can boost our combat readiness a little bit more i guess we're gonna try and go after that uh ssb actually i'm not sure if we should get skill nullifier already uh when when eric does his aoe vildred might die although probably not actually 
Well, defense penetrating, and he does have the attack buff now. Skill nullifier would just get removed from Lilius, so I think we're just gonna hit the bazaar there. All right, here we go. Let's see what this does. Oh, wait. Please don't die, Vildred. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's that's honestly pretty good right now. I think we're in a pretty okay spot. We have to actually try and do nothing until it's uh, Imel Cecilia's turn. Oh, God. She, she's gonna kill him. Yep, never mind, we're dead. Ow. Yeah, okay, that wasn't very good, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to find a bazaar down here, actually. Ah, there are a couple, just in their typical annoying habitat. Also that Charles, even when I'm doing single target attacks, he is always countering. Well, let's just go in, see what happens. That was, uh, that was a little close, you know, not too bad, though. Oh, yeah, when there's Cecilia there, you have to be careful, because if Bazaar had a an immunity set, could have gotten rid of the barrier. I don't know if there's some kind of priority thing going on, but whatever, let let's cripple Bazaar. Yeah, see if we can get rid of that SSB. Probably not though, she has way too much HP still. I mean, that barrier took a lot of the, the uh, first hit, not good. But we can check out the AoE first, see what happens. Might do some solid damage to the Charles, you know, if, he, if he's built a little bit more def defensively. Um, no, not really. Wasn't that impressive. I mean, you can't really make him super fast and strong. That Charles has a counter set and Elberus, and of course he's countering every turn. Dude, again? And double dunk. Counter set's also only 20%, right? My ass. It's like 50%. Cecilia versus Cecilia. This is gonna be an auto battle, I guess, because we're just gonna keep provoking each other. Okay, enough of that. So basically my current thought on him now is it would basically be him for Bazaar and then you need a three-man team. So yeah, I would say he is a Bazaar counter. He has much higher natural speed and you could outspeed Bazaars. I guess you would still have to be careful around Moonlight Cecilia teams, you know, because if he has an immunity set and barrier, it's only going to remove one. I mean, maybe if he has enough damage to get rid of the barrier, uh, he will just remove immunity. I still think though he should disable all buffs with this skill. So yeah, I mean he's kind of funny. He basically literally just neutralizes himself and Bazaar. Like if you're gonna build him pure speed, he's not gonna do much damage, but then Bazaar can't do his thing either. So it's just like those two are taken out of the equation pretty much. So it's basically three-man team versus three-man team at that point, you know? And you know for those high-level teams up there with those super fast Bazaars, he can be faster, but you kind of need to build him pure speed for that. And then again, a three-man team. So yeah, I think for that purpose, he is perfectly fine. I, I guess I'm not really high enough because I think those teams we fought just now, I could have just easily beaten and way faster with my Judge Kisa team. For PvE, I don't see him being very useful outside of maybe Mercedes when he would have some buffs there, you know, for the silence. As far as I remember, the uh, Hall of Trials Mercedes can be silenced. And also buff removal on a second, but again, it's only one buff which sucks. Please buff him at least to remove all buffs so he could be slightly useful outside of PvP. So I'm going to check and see how fast we can get this dude. I'm probably not going to actually equip the gear because he actually should be up here. Yeah, I guess we're basically just going to give him Oxlots because Oxlots has the gear which has the most potential speed on it and he can get up to 242. So we'll also take a look at what his stats look like. Of course, if you have like really good gear, you know, high speed substats and offensive substats then yeah it's possible to make him fast and damagey but that's super difficult so yeah with lots gear 249 speed i think you'd outspeed the majority of bazaars uh, at least until you get up like to the really high rankings but now he has 23 crit chance 173 crit damage so again he's really just going to be there to neutralize uh, bizarre and that's it. But yeah, I'm sorry this video is so unimpressive. I'm just not sure if there's something I'm missing with him except, you know, what I just said about 17 times neutralizing bizarre. If you guys have any other thoughts or team suggestions where I could throw him to maybe make a better showcase, uh, then feel free to drop them down there. But yeah, from what I can tell, ne never mind, I'm not gonna say it again. That seems to be his role, his niche, bizarre teams. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really think there's much else to say. I don't think I needed to raise him for that, honestly, and give him all of my Molokoras. <laughs> uh, but yeah, perhaps when I'm climbing back in Arena, he'll come in handy. It's just that 
when I would think about him plus, you know, a three-man team, it'd be like Oxlots and Judge Kisa. So I'd kind of need Oxlots gear. It's just currently we're only 10 speed away from my gear's max and he actually can deal some okay damage right now. So it's kind of hard to say if it's actually worth it to sacrifice all his crit chance and damage for, you know, 10 speed. But I guess up there in the high ranks, every speed does count. And you saw at his speed, we were 1% ahead of a Challenger 5 Bazaar. So yeah. But I guess I'll pretty much do it. Again, apologies. I don't really know what I was expecting. If you guys want to see him in a different situation and a different team, again, drop those suggestions in the comments down below. We can also explore some PvE stuff if you uh, if you have any suggestions for that either. Uh, but till then, that'll pretty much do it. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.